uh, and we have a message from Mrs. Um, excuse me, I, <laughs> we have a message here uh, from Mrs. Uh, Rosa Dominic Amado. She is director for One Health at the European Commission. Uh, she couldn't be with us, unfortunately, today, but she has sent us this video message, and then we will welcome her two representatives here on stage. Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Director General Sandra Galina, it is my great pleasure to address you today at the launch of the new Joint Action on Antimicrobial Resistance and Healthcare Associated Infections. All of us know about the frightening consequences that AMR can have in terms of related deaths, but also in financial uh, terms. The figures that the last OECD report uh, showed are very, very clear indeed on, on that. If we do not act urgently to tackle AMR, by 2035, it may be more dangerous to go to the hospital than to get treatment at home. In 2023, we put our house in order on AMR with the adoption in record time of the Council recommendation that reflects that the EU is determined in its fight against AMR. The key EU measure, as you know, is the agreed recommended targets on antimicrobial resistance and antimicrobial consumption. To reach these targets, the member states agreed measures on infection prevention and control, on surveillance and monitoring, on fostering innovation and access, on the prudent use of antimicrobials, and on increased awareness raising. And in order to be able to do all this, we have the great support of the joint action. With 50 million euros in EU funding, this is the biggest investment we have made in tackling AMR. It builds on the strong results of the previous successful joint action, and we are confident that this, will, this one will take us much further in addressing it. And we are delighted to see that we have all the member states on board, together with Norway, Iceland, and Ukraine. Congratulations as well to the coordinators from Francis in CERN for putting this very big project together. AMR is probably the area par excellence applying the One Health approach, involving cross-sectoral efforts and integrating public health, agri-food aspects and the environment to tackle this very complex threat. And this is exactly what the joint action is doing with actions that span human and animal health and the environment in several work packages. So we consider this joint action the key EU financial support to help you, member states, make a difference on the ground and to reach those targets. But in 2024, we also push for a bolder action at global level. Not that we have not started doing this before, in particular through the Transatlantic uh, Task Force uh, TATFAR, and still also now during the G7 and the G20. But this year, we also have two additional very important processes. The conclusion of the ongoing negotiations uh, of the new pandemic agreement and the UN uh, General Assembly high-level meeting in September, which will hopefully go beyond pure declaratory intentions and be really action-oriented. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a very important work ahead of you and you definitely have our full support. I wish you a very successful meeting today. Thank you very much.